<clears throat> Hi folks, welcome once again to um, Gaz Lab. And I've been playing with my IC705 just a little bit more and I've, I'm starting to get to grips with it. It's absolutely fantastic, that radio. Um, really, really good. Um, it's a shame that the, the bands aren't a bit livelier and I haven't got anything a little bit better up in the way of antenna at the moment. But it's an amazing bit of kit and I think it's going to be really, really good for the digital modes that um, I fancy playing with. But that got me thinking. I don't want to do the digital modes in um, in the, the standard way with a portable bit of kit. I wanted to, I want something that I can take out and there's a little bit, you know, me. And um, so I'm just really thinking. But I've got here, I've got one of these. It's a 15.9 flat panel that runs on a USB C port, and you can and I use it with my A10 Mini, uh, my A10 Mini Pro. I got I got to thinking and then I saw something on that because the first thing I the, the the first thing I thought portable easy really really sort of common uh, OS I thought Raspberry Pi but then they launched something I think this week which is the Raspberry Pi 400 so I only went out and got one. Um, they're about $70 or £67 in the UK. And it is comes in a box like that. It's not very big. And it looks like that. Now check that wee beastie out. Look at that. Ethernet, you've got their Ethernet port. USB 2, I should imagine and two USB 3s. You've got one USB-C, which is the power uh, input. I don't think it's a USB-C port. Then you've got two 4K mini micro HDMI ports. Um, you've also got the, the GPIO port there as well. If you want to add a data card of some description on, or a Raspberry Pi hat, um, you can use a breakout ribbon cable and then uh, put it straight in to say, you could, I think Adafruit do these, uh, these breakout boards where you can plug them into a um, something like a breadboard and then you can run LEDs and do whatever you want to and control the whole thing from this. Um, I've been amazed at this. I just think this is this possibly is going to be revolutionary in that just think of the, all the, the things. I mean, it's light. It's not heavy. It's solid. You can feel that it's got some, some heft to it. Um, but it is quite light and I can imagine this fitting quite nicely into a rucksack along with one of these flat panels. You don't need to take huge amounts of uh, power with you. Um, one good, um, you know, one of these sort of USB rechargeable um, battery things would be really, really good if you've got one of those, sort of the, the larger ones. Um, I think that would be very, very good indeed. Would run all this stuff for a, quite a while. Plus, um, you, you probably, if you're going to take the uh, 705 with you, you could also possibly use um, something like um, a USB sort of knockdown, sort of one of those little um, cigarette lighter type things. Um, you can buy those exact things in a little module, USB module, which gives you a USB out. So it's 12 volt DC in, and then you get two USBs on it. So that would then power this quite happily and power a 15 inch monitor and the battery would the DC battery would then power your 705 so you could be pretty self-contained I mean if you've got to take a battery anyway so adding something like this is going to be nothing and one of those flat screens nothing but that isn't all of it I mean okay I think it's going to be very useful for people that are looking just for data loggers or maybe sort of running um, very very light installs of the um, W um, whatever it is the, the, the FT8 sort of stuff WSJTX and um, I mean obviously it won't run HRD or anything like that but nonetheless this I think is going to be a bit revolutionary think about it as for people in caravans just looking for a small computer um, self-contained computer or um, 
perhaps uh, I mean caravans, motorhomes, um, narrowboats, um, I don't know, all sorts of things that this could be used for. Um, but it doesn't have a terrific value either. So, um, you know, if it's stolen, broken, you know, whatever, it's not a huge, huge loss. I think this is going to be quite a tool. So I'm going to start playing with this. I'm going to try and work out what exactly I can do with it um, regards putting it onto a 705 and what software I can use. I mean, if you've got any ideas, please let me know. I'll, I'll certainly give them a go. But I'd like to run FT8 on it. Um, it doesn't have an audio input, I've noticed. So you're going to need to use one of the USB inputs for a sound card. But again, that's not going to be that's not going to be difficult at all because they're only sort of yay big. In fact, I believe this will be Bluetooth as well. And I understand that the the 705 is Bluetooth. I mean, my mind's racing, and I mean, and this will run Python. At the you know, you if you're good with a bit of Python or something like that, I'm sure that there must be other things we can do with these. So interesting times, wonderful little thing. My mind is racing thinking of things that I can do coupling this up with a with a 705. So there you go. Um, I went to Wisley earlier on today just for um, a bit of a walk. Um, and uh, trying to get out of the, the house and um, find some time actually alone at the moment outside is really hard um, it was heaving unbelievably uh, busy um, there I think a lot of people are going um, trying to get out and uh, and stuff and doing a lot of walking but I took my Osmo 2 um, it's one of those I don't know if you've never if you've ever seen one it's just like a little like a gimbal cam type thing now I had one before um, I had a much earlier version of it and um, well the, the version one actually and I didn't get on to terrifically well with it but this one though the version two it it's um, I've got the, the creator add-on and so it because I've got ginormous hands um, I can it fits in my hand properly and when I'm actually using it I don't have to push it out of my hand almost to operate the thing and almost drop it you feel like you're constantly going to drop it but they've also now addressed the microphone issue with it as well which I, I struggled with they do this like little you get a cordless microphone with a little little hat I mean if you feel lonely or anything you can you know you can pet it and stuff it's nice little dead cat um yeah it's really that's really really good so that's why i put the little video up just to sort of uh, have a little play with it and also there's a little bit more of a test in there as well um i've been using uh, for a long time now i've had an epidemic uh, music account um which i normally just listen to and i wanted to to experiment with it so i've put it on that one and i don't mind if it gets um if i get a copyright strike on it i can um i can whip it down really sharpish that was the plan anyway but they've not moaned yet so i think i've understand how it works now so um so yeah um so thanks epidemic sound for the for the music that's uh that's really really good that's uh now i'm happy i can i can use it i understand exactly what i've got to do nothing I you know, just put it on and as long as it's registered we're all good um yeah that's it for today i think um i've uh, obviously put the Wisley video up and uh, now this one talking about this but i'm loving that 705 really i am it's such a nice radio well done icon and uh, thank you martin lynch and sons for uh, um sorting me out with one because um yeah that is really really good that is kind of um, I won't say rejuvenated my interest in in radio. It certainly um, rejuvenated my 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 technical um, sort of interest. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's really really good. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of all sorts of things with that. So thanks for watching. See you soon, and uh, stay safe out there. It uh, it is uh, definitely a jungle right now. <laughs> right, cheers guys. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>